There is one major thing that you can do to prevent HPV and to reduce the risk of worsening HPV effects. And if you haven't done it yet, or if you haven't considered it yet for the women in your life, mind blown. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women. And let's talk about it. So here's the deal. HPV, when we talk about it, there's over 225 strains that have been identified thus far. So of those 225 strains, many of them are like around, but not really problematic. But there's a few dozen that we call high risk, meaning they can cause more significant changes and abnormalities of the cervix. And there's like four or five that are really problematic, meaning that there's a much higher chance of them causing precancerous or cancerous changes in the throat, in the cervix, on the rectum, or even on the vulva. And you don't want this. Like, this is something that is high risk. HPV is the number one STD that exists. It's super difficult to identify because people are asymptomatic of it. So they may not know that they're transmitting it to somebody. So what the hell are you supposed to do? All right, number one, especially mommies with young girls, you need to consider getting them vaccinated with the HPV vaccine that covers nine strains. This also covers the more high risk strains that exist. If you get these done before somebody is sexually active and comes into contact with HPV, you have over a 90% risk reduction of abnormalities from HPV that could lead to cervical cancer, anal cancer, throat cancer, things like that. We don't know how long it lasts. We think it's well over a decade, but like that's number one. But most of us fall into the category of somebody that's already had HPV on a pap smear. So like, what the hell are you supposed to do? Still get vaccinated. Why? Because the studies have shown that women, even if they've had HPV before, if you get vaccinated, number one, you are covering all the strains that you haven't had protection for already. And we have found that women tend to also clear their HPV a little bit more quickly than women who have never been vaccinated and already had HPV present before. So this is food for thought, but if you haven't had the shot series yet, it's time to look in your records and see if you want to do it.